Hey everybody, welcome to Chasinator's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make mashed potatoes, homemade mashed potatoes. Not those crappy out-of-the-box potatoes that your great granny brings to the Thanksgiving meal that nobody wants to touch, but real homemade mashed potatoes. So if you're ready, here we go. You want to start with potatoes. Of course, the bigger the potato, the more you're going to have uh, in the end, the less peeling you're going to have to do. So I like big potatoes, but if you're stuck with small potatoes, you get what you got. So use your small potatoes. Peeling is very simple. I have a process that works great for me. I'll try to get you in here in this frame. You basically want to wash your potato first, get it wet. It's easier to peel a wet potato than a dry potato. You always want to peel downwards. You never want to peel around like, you know, you're peeling an apple. No, this isn't an apple. You, want, you don't want to waste time. You want to get this done quickly, so you peel downwards, and you go fast. Why waste time? You don't have to. If you're going to see spots like that, you can come back and get those later. Just get the main peel off for now. Worry about getting it off. I've been doing this for years, so I have lots of experience peeling potatoes. You'll do it at your own pace. You'll learn eventually how to do it your way. Maybe this isn't the most comfortable way for you, but it's the best way for me. Okay, now I want to go back and just little dig out these little spots. Just dig them out. We don't want any little spots in our potatoes. I like my potatoes to be completely pure and beautiful. And so once you get your potato done, it looks nice and clean, um, you're gonna do, of course, about four of these large potatoes to feed five people, five to six people. Uh, so it depends on the potato, really, of course, the size and how many that you're feeding. It's important while you're doing this uh, to have water in the pan that you're going to cook with. You need the water in there because if you don't, your uh, potatoes are going to turn yellow and brown and ugly and nasty. So you don't want that. You want them to be covered in water. But basically you have your pan with your water in it here. And what you want to do is you want to take your potato and just cut it. And I like to cut it into quarters like that. So you have all these ex four parts here, as you can see, and you just cut them down the line as you go down. No need for perfection. They're just going to boil right up the same. It doesn't really matter what shape they have. And then you'll want to put that on high on your stove and boil it. Put in um, about one tablespoon of salt. Thank you. 